good evening, the correct fan here. So, Manchester United have just drawn 0 0 against Liverpool at Anfield. Um, it wasn't an entertaining game, to be honest. And, um, and would, that, would that have took the point before the game, probably because of how Liverpool uh, were before the game. I think they were in B and in the last four games. And um, in the first half, I thought we did well. We, we stayed compact and kept Liverpool quiet f for the first 15 to 20 minutes. Liverpool didn't do nothing in the first half. Well, they had a five minute spell before half time, if I remember correctly, but apart from that, nothing really. Um, second half, they, they, had, they had their chances. Um, Coutinho with a long shot outside the box. Great save by De Gea, but before that, Chan bulldozed himself into the box. Takes a shot, low, low and hard. De Gea, David De Gea with, with a left handed save. Great save it was, to be fair. Um, we had the chest as well. Pop a, cro pop a cross from the right. Slats and uh, heads it back to, towards goal in the box, but no one, no United shot in the box. But yeah, um, but apart from that, don't think there's much really. Um, a couple of things annoyed me. Well, one thing annoyed me in the game actually the ref referee he he wasn't c consistent consistent with his decisions in my opinion he booked back by you for a nothing foul but then he didn't book a Liverpool player for a foul on Valencia I don't get the lo logic in that in my in my opinion maybe because he was worried about what Liverpool fans would say because they they were they were moaning about where he's from and all that blather but. He's an Oxford fan. He he's not a United fan, it, but it, it, by any stretch of the imagination, um, is it a good point? Yeah, but had we have beaten Stoke, it would have been a good point. But it's a point nevertheless. Um, yeah. So my man of the match would be, I think I've two actually, possibly three or four. Well, David De Gea because of the save, and Herrera. He was class. People say, oh. You know it's a shit game when Herrera's man of the match. I totally disagree. I thought he was class tonight. He reminds me of of a Basque Michael Carrick. I don't know why. Um, who else impressed me? Chris Wall impressed me a lot tonight. Although when Chan had, when Chan ran into the box, he grabbed his shirt, grabbed his shirt, big pardon, for, for a long while. Um, who else impressed me? And but by he. Uh, Impressed me as well, even though he got booked for a nothing challenge. But so uh, yeah, um, Daily Blind nearly had a Steamy Gerrard moment. He slipped, but thankfully, but ba he um, had that one covered. There, there were a lot of um, players slipping for both sides tonight. Um, Fellaini played tonight, thought he did okay, I suppose. But yeah, I don't want to see him play against um, Chelsea on, on, on Sunday. But that's Sunday. Um, so. To Thursday's game against Fenerbahce should be good though to be fair with the return of Robbie Van Persie I, I, I'm, I'm sure he'll get um, a good reception as well and it's, it's another must win game if we want to go through to the next stage of, of the Euro Europa League and yeah um, so back to tonight's game um, overall pretty, pl pretty pleased with the point considering how the media were hyped were hyping Liverpool, especially, especially Sky Sports News, asking every pundit under the sun who's going to win, Liverpool, draw or United. Uh, Danny Higginbotham aside, a pundit and a former United player on Sky Sports News, each pundit went for, when I, I'm sure they went for a draw or a Liverpool win, which I found a bit bizarre to be honest. It's a shame we didn't get the three points, but I, I, I felt it was a Mourinho masterclass in in how to keep Liverpool quiet, quiet. I don't, I don't like their new goalkeeper, to carry us. Yeah, he he was he was carrying a pile of shit on his back um, tonight. I mean, really, he was crap. They were comparing his stats to De Gea. Uh, sorry, De Gea was three years younger and a much better keeper than um, than Carrius when he arrived at, at United. Well, first season of Pat, but so uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, like, like I said, am I happy with the point? Yeah, it's better than nothing, but um, 
that one's ticked up. That one's done, on to the next one, finish. Batchy, then to Chelsea on Sunday. I I'll talk about the Chelsea game on Thursday after th after Thursday's game, but uh, yeah, I am, I, I am pleased with with, um, with with how we performed, the, well, especially the first half, but I, I was a bit concerned in the second half, and yeah, I should be happy really, but yeah, I was disappointed that Carrick didn't start, even though Fellaini started, but like I said, Fellaini did, did okay, I suppose. Rooney came on in the second half as well, and Shaw came on towards the end as well. But whoever's appointing the re referees ne next time, if let's take Sunday's game for, for instance, I'll talk I'll talk in more more detail on um, Thursday. Whoever's referee refereeing that game, it, the, I I I just hope they're not from London. They, I, I'd rather an outsider ki came came from that came to referee the game so to speak but uh, yeah um, so yeah happy with the point although maybe could have been three tonight but I don't know but yeah at least we kept the Liverpool hype fest um, quiet for, for a while so yeah uh, it wasn't an entertaining game like I said it was quite boring to be honest but to be honest I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the first half and like how we played but so uh, yeah I'm I'm just lucky we we've got a world class goalkeeper down there here, the best goalkeeper in the Premier League, bar none. Like like I said a billion times, you could throw, Jack, who else? Morris. God struggling here. Stecklenburg, although he had a good game Saturday. Butland, Pickford, etc. etc. None of them come close to David de Gea in my own opinion. He's world class and he's t and he's twenty five. Could have turned 26 in a couple of weeks as well. Jesus Christ, he's started to come in, into his prime now. Hopefully he'll sign a new contract in the next two years. Because he's got another three years to go on on this current contract as well. But uh, yeah. So like I said once again, um, happy with the point. Yeah, I'm happy with the point. Although maybe Ibrahimovic could have done better but with the chest that he had. Would have been three, but oh well. Um, I, like I said, um, I, I, the consistency, the consistency in that game disturbed me a bit. Like like I said with the bite, the bite ch challenge was bugger all. All the referee, the referee had to do was tell bite said one more, then get book. Not like oh, I want to make a name for myself and book bite. But so uh, yeah, he booked young for. I think it was the sense to be fair, but the Liverpool players kept crowding um, Anthony Taylor for some odd reason, trying to get our players set up, which is bang out of order. But uh, yeah, so yeah, my man of the match once again is Ander Herrera, although I have mentioned David Gea, Eric Bayou, Chris Walling, right? You could tweet me at Carrick for United, subscribe to my. You could tweet me at Carrick for United, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, The Carrick Fan, comment below that video. Adios.